Good morning, everyone. My name is Anna Lena Wahar. I'm a third year student at CUA. You're currently inside my fridge in Estonia, and I'm about to share my day with you. But first, let's have some breakfast. Of course, the COVID-19 virus has affected my family personally, and I think everyone's affected the whole world. One small thing we do differently now is that we avoid going to the shop just for social distancing. So every morning I start by baking bread and this is what I'm going to have breakfast today as well. I usually like to start my mornings to come outside and breathe some fresh air, either to run or bike. Today I decided to walk because it snowed overnight. It's actually very nice to be at home during the springtime because it's my favorite season. Everything is changing and becoming more colorful and becoming more alive. And it's just fantastic to observe little things that change overnight. Example how Estonia has already <laughs> prepared for social distancing and how it's part of our normal lives are the outdoor gyms so there's quite many of them along the trails and you can just come and do your workout here okay i just finished class i'm taking this term conservation bio social arts practice and community-based marine conservation and I'm doing an independent study in Russian literature and cinema. I'm really enjoying all the classes and have so much respect for professors who put the courses online. It's what it is, but I'm learning and it's working well. I'm going to do some homework now and I'm going to check in later. This is my cat. His name is Matrus. Matrus means uh, sailor man in Estonian. He's a Siamese, five years old. He looks very innocent if he wants to, but he likes to catch squirrels. He likes to catch hedgehogs and birds. Well, he likes to think he can catch them, but luckily he doesn't really catch them. He just place and then they always get away we have to keep him on a leech because we live close to the road and we don't want him to go to the road that's where he would go first thing that's how we are outside he can stay outside on his own but he likes to go for walks as well so that's how we play a proper Estonian way to end a long day is with a sauna and uh, sauna is the most important part of every Estonian house this is the first thing that is built before anything like you can live in the tent but you have to have a sauna before we do sauna once a week and it's uh, uh, heated with wood it's a dry sauna and in order to get the steam, the hot steam, you have to throw the water on the rocks and that's how you get the steam and then we also have um, birch branches that we collect in the summertime and we dry out and uh, with those branches um, you, you use them in sauna to kind of hit your skin and that's gonna make the blood circulate really well so it's weird traditions uh, but it's been like that hundreds of years and it is still really important in every Estonian family. Find your own sauna. If you don't have a sauna, find something that relaxes you and make you feel good. Just like Estonians have their sauna. I hope you all are gonna stay safe and I can't wait to see everybody face to face. And I'm signing off. Off to sauna. Bye!